two from the fundamentals of chapter twelve in the, the dynamics book. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, like I said before in the previous video, uh, we initially begin these problems. Um, bit, or this chapter introduces all these concepts very slowly, but it build. You know, this this chapter itself is the do or die for this this whole course. All right. Um, <clears throat> so. Here, the ball is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 15 meters per second. Determine the time of flight when it returns to its original position. So there's two things in uh, kinematics, right? There's the, they might ask you for total distance traveled or uh, displacement. Displacement is just the change in position between initial and final. Or sorry, final minus uh, initial position, right? So that's what they want here, right? And because it returns to its original position, we know that that displacement is going to be zero, right? So, and as you probably saw in statics and in this course, it's all about dissecting the, the problem statement, right? Uh, so, one of the main equations that you're going to be using, uh, which they you know they pretty much all come from integrating this a few times, this differential equation here, right? So if you want to do this uh, a few times, you know, you get like AT plus some constant V, and then you want to integrate it again. Uh, this is DS DT, right? So you get like AT squared plus C1T plus another constant, uh, let's call it C2, and then S, right? So this looks very similar to one of the kinematic equations, one of the main ones, right, that's going to be, um, you know, S final equals S initial plus V naught uh, times the time plus uh, one half AT squared, all right. But in this case, it's just a free fall, free fall problem. So for A, we're going to be, or I guess, you know, we're going to use minus G just because gravity is always pointing down, right? So it's a, it's a vector. So we know that the change in position is zero, right? We know our initial velocity is 15 meters per second, right? So we kind of have that. And we know A is going to be minus G T squared over 2, right? And in all free fall problems or um, what are the... the uh, projectile motion problems, you're pretty much going to be dealing with A equals negative G. Okay? So then here we know this right here, this bit, uh, displacement, zero. Initial velocity is 15 times time. We don't know. That's what I believe that's, yeah, that's what we're trying to get. And over here we get um, roughly 4.9 T squared, okay, and when you move everything to one side and isolate T, so actually let's cancel one T, right, we're going to get 15, 4.9 equals T, which then our time of flight is roughly 3.06 seconds, all right, and that's all, so get used to working your way back from here, right, into, because if you can't remember the equation, if you're just trying to memorize equations, you might not be able to get there, right, so as long as you remember where do they come from, they come from here, right, A, D, V, and also V is D, S, D, T, right, so you can try to formulate the, the, the structure of your um, equations that you might want to use, all right, all right, so, yeah, thanks for your time, guys. I hope this video uh, helps, and I hope you guys stick with the, uh, you know, the chapter 12 problems, because uh, they will get tougher and tougher as we go. All right, guys, give the video a like, comment down below if you have questions. Thanks for your time.